Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more Total War Three Kingdoms, continuing with our uh, Gongshan Zan campaign. We ended up basically kicking the crap out of Zhang Yang, and now we're going to start moving east. Uh, we are at war right now. Hung Shao declared war on us. I, I don't know why. I don't know why, but we're going to come back and kill him. By the way, how's our uh, small regional city looking? Not bad, not bad. At some point, I do want to max you out. Yeah, yeah, I do want to max you out here. We're going to need 8k for this. We got plenty of food, so that's good. Let's go ahead and hit next turn. We're going to want to start moving our armies east, and then we're going to start integrating as well. Um, I don't know if the integration is going to put us in potentially a sketchy spot, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Is that an enemy army? I think that is. That is an enemy army. Yeah. Hello. Hello, enemy army. Am I worried? Eh. I mean, even if he takes some territory from me, we're just gonna come and take it back. Like, he has zero, uh, 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 ability to kill us. Over to your general, tells your dream of, or you tell your general of your dream of the Jade Bird. He takes a long sip of tea, places the cup down, looks you in the eye. The vision of the Jade Bird's auspicious prophecy. Uh, it's indicating Imperial matters, and the bird, uh, is a being that can traverse the gap. So, our relationship deepens. Okay, cool. Is an enemy army? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I must refuse. He's got some interesting looking units here. Mm-hmm. The farmland. Decent sized garrison. Decent sized garrison. Is he gonna be able to kill us? Yeah, probably. He will probably be able to take it. So I need to get my armies. Do my armies show up here? They do not. They do not. So the problem is I really need replenishment. You really don't need replenishment, so congratulations. You're going to be in charge of getting your butt back here. Yeah, you go as far uh, over that way as possible. And then I think I'm going to just move her slowly that way too. She could use a little bit more on replenishment. I don't really need two armies. I just need the one. Is there any way to have character development, Jade Bird, buildings, faction developments? I wonder, um, I don't know if Lu Bei is in on this with us. Hi, are you in war with him? This is Hung Shao? Yes, ooh, nice. So what I can do then is I can be like, hey, ally, and by ally I mean vassal, go kill him. Good, and then we also called in Dong Min, who is also at war with him. shall we talk about? And I want you to come kill this army as well. Okay. So hopefully then they're going to come save me. <laughs> I mean, she's got... He has got an army right here. So I wonder if I vassalize if I get his armies. Or when we vassalize. Uh, the other thing is, and I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Quick deal. Do we have any trade? Create vassal, support vassal independence. No. I was wondering if we had any trades available. Okay. Is there anything else for us to do right now? Got a little bit of money. Got a little bit of money. Public order, do I need? You're plus two, maybe. We will upgrade you, though, because you're a little sketchier. Uh, You're plus eight, so I don't really need the public order. Wait, how do we have double public order? Did I really build a Confucian shrine here when I already had a public order building? Brian, what are you doing? What are you doing? And let's just hold off, and let's spend our money here. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Take you up. I would like to max out our capital. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe I built that. You know what? Why even worry then? 35. This is going to put us well over 8k. I'm just going to stay here. We'll just take the plus 8 for now. We'll just take the plus 8 for now. It's okay. We can, we can swap around here in the future. You are losing happiness. Part of that's because we just conquered you, though. I'm not super concerned. Yet. Yet. But we can't really do anything except just upgrade our garrisons. God, this is going to be a really good income industry, man. Who is the one that actually owns that one? I think that's Zhang Yang, right? Pretty sure that's Zhang Yang. I, I probably want to... Uh, I think I'm going to integrate my other vassal first before Zhang Yang. Even though his territory isn't necessarily as necessary. Um, just because... 
Uh, he already hates me, so. <laughs> I don't really know how the vassalization works. I just, I wanna get over here, protect our territory. Once we're over here on the east, then I'm probably gonna do it. Like, once I get my army here. Okay, okay, more wars, congrats, have fun. Can I get you all the way to the farmland? No, but I can get you really close. Now, are you sieging? He's sieging my vassal right now. Looks like the cross is right there. So did he declare war on my vassal? And I, that's why I'm in on this war? That's what I kind of think maybe happened here. What's the comparison between those two guys? So you are uh, inferior. You are equal. So my vassal is stronger than him. Just FYI. Ally mobilizes against force. Thank you. Character development. Kill buildings. Diplomacy. Faction development. Okay, so what I want is I want my regional city to go up to a uh, regional city. Small regional city to become a regional city. We got plenty of food. Look at how terrible that garrison is. Gives us two extra buildings, man. Two extra building slots. Nice. I don't think we've had... No, I think I've had a regional city in the past. I think I've had one. You just got the crappy small buildings. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about it right now. She can go move over here. And I'm tempted just to go do this. Balance of power is negative. He's got a decent army. He's got he's got an army. That's about all we can say for it. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, just in camp. Prepare the camp. And I'm just trying to gain as many supplies as possible. And Zhang Yang is going to die before too long. He's not allied with anyone, right? He's at war with someone. He has two trade partners. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about him. Uh, Someone leveled up. Oh, how are our assignments? Do we actually have assignments going on? I've not touched those at all. I'm assuming you're actually an assignment person. So... I don't really like any of these. These all kind of suck, man. Food production for the administrative commandery. Do that for the extra uh, industry income. So, assignments. We have a assignment left. So we can get extra uh, lower construction time and cost or trade influence or mustering turns. So, what we should do then, cancel you, assign her with the construction time. And I think we need to wait one turn. Yeah, we need to wait one turn. So, we got a little bit of money now we can spend. Basically, we can spend uh, about 38, give or take. And you can upgrade. I don't think I care. This is extra public order. You're at plus two. You're fine. I'm not super worried about that. Um, yeah, let's go do that. We'll do grain estates. We'll get the extra food. It's cool. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. And so then uh, construction time is going to be wonderful. Uh, 8,000 is going to save us 800 because we got that 10%. Permission to declare war. Zhang Yan is asking for us to declare war on Gongdu. Now, now, you don't even have an army. <laughs> Come on. He doesn't have, to have an army, man. He wants me to go freaking declare war. Like, what the hell? Also, what are you doing right now? I think she lost the fight. I think she lost the fight, it looked like. I, no, we can't go declare war on some guy just because you don't like him. Uh, You got good omens, sweet. Where was that uh, uh, yellow turban? That's us. I don't see anyone, so. Uh, okay. Can I move across? Justice is on our side. To war. Are we here if he attacks? I don't know if we're close enough. As one. Gather your strength. Okay, we can't do that anyway, so just stay in the normal stance. Hopefully, we're close enough that we can come support. You've had a couple turns. Let's put you on march. 
And let's get you over here. Because I don't know where this army is going, but I want to just be ready to go help. That should be fine there. You, I just want to get, uh, basically get you completely maxed out, and then we should be good to go. Uh, all right, all right. So back to our capital. Uh, you then should be cheaper on this. Yeah, 7,200. Nice. And it's only six turns instead of seven. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, we got the festival. Good Omen is plus public order. That's nice. Ally Melbalize is against force. Cool. Uh, assignments. Good. Traits gained. Okay. Uh, we gained a clay rat who gives a crap. Character development. All right. Buildings. Yep. Faction emerges. Yeah. Did we actually see where this was? That's way over there. Okay. I don't care about that then. Uh, faction developments. Don't think we care. Relationship lost. No. Oh, yeah, we're at war with you. <laughs> it's like, no, we lost relationships. Oh, yeah, we're at war. That that tends to do that. Um, your public order, but once again, we're at plus 12, so I don't really care about public order. You can build... You're actually not making me any money right now. Because all we got is this building here, which doesn't really help. Could make... Uh, let's just farmlands... So I think we should just do income from peasantry. Yeah, I think we should start with that, because once we get the farmland, it's going to be worth a little bit more. Uh, might as well build that, just because just because money's really good. We could actually build probably a fourth army at this point. Uh, when are we going to start the integration? I think as soon as I beat this army back. Once we beat this army back, probably next turn. I want to do it this episode. Okay, he's running away. <laughs> and yeah, he's going to die. He's going to die, guys. I don't know what my army is going to look like 1v1, but... So, Dongmin... This is this guy down here, our uh, ally. Wants us to declare war on... Whatever, fine. And he's going to pay me 3900 Let's actually negotiate. And what I want is... I want regular payments. Because this is going to be worth more. So, this... I don't know if this is going to make Zhang Yang happier with us since we're declaring war on the guy he wanted. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a lot more money than it was going to be. Um, let's do, like, 80, uh, 20. Because 3,900 was basically going to be 390 for 10 turns. So, this is going to be significantly more. 825. There you go. Instead, we're making about 8K off this. So, I don't really care about the war. There was no negative for declaring that war, so. He's running around. I don't know what he's going to do. Might have her go take care of that army. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try. We'll see. We'll see what this army looks like. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brothers in arms, satisfaction, congratulations. Uh, I want my spy. Uh, I need to go infiltrate. Uh, Xiao Xiao. Yeah. Who do we want, man? Good question. So we got Yun Zhan, uh, Qi Sheng, and Yu Long. So if we went here to our court. Was it? You were one of them. He actually worked for Kong Rong. He worked for Kong Rong. He's got a nice passive debuff. It seems like the AI really, really loves the academics. So maybe. I think Kui Shang was the other one. Oh my god. Are any of these guys legendary? Left click. It's or left click, yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand competitive, formidable. He's got a decent sized garrison already. Yeah, he's got a decent sized garrison. He's not legendary, but he's really close. You were not legendary, and you weren't even that close. And you have a terrible garrison size. And then Yun Ji. Almost legendary. With a really good... He's also unbreakable and has scare. Yeah, he's really good. Although he loses satisfaction if he's up high. But that's fine. I think he's worth it, man. Let's do Yun Jin. I'm going to do Yu Jin. And then we're going to deploy you to Xiao Xiao. Deploy. Sounds good. That's a thousand gold. But that's okay. Uh, all right, so that army was over here somewhere. I don't think I saved after the last episode, by the way. 
Uh, so we might get ambushed. Stay fixed. Enemy ambush failed. Okay, I was gonna say. Uh, high casualties, valiant defeat. Our superior forces, our advisors are predicting a valiant defeat. What? He actually has some higher level troops here. But they're all peasants. They're freaking peasants. What? what? And we're actually defending here too. And he's gonna have to run through a forest. Okay, well we're gonna murder the crap out of him. We're gonna fight this battle. Uh, and I have no idea. I have no idea why it's predicting a valiant defeat here. They're rolling around with peasants. He's got a lot of archers though. He's got a lot of archers, but they're all freaking peasants. They're probably peasant archers too. So it seems like peasants are like a really cheap way to uh, engage an army. Like, if you want a bunch of troops, just hire a bunch of peasants. Because you have to actually unlock them. But I don't see why I ever would. And we're going to, like, light all of this on fire? Dude, this is a really cool territory. Yeah, it's actually really badass. We could even come over here. Because he's not going to be able to get... He might be able to come through here. But for the most part, he's going to have to come around. But uh, I think I stick over here. I think I stick over here. Can we fire? We cannot fire shot. We can fire bombard, though. Do I care about lighting the trees on fire? This is a better defensive spot. It really is, because we can just hold our flank. Like, we could just hold, like, right here. Hmm. Also, what are you, what, what, what's with this right here? What does that mean? It can turtle? Is that what it's telling me? Yeah, turtles are so cool though. Turtles probably my favorite formation in any game. Just like, it looks so cool. I love it. I think I will turtle these guys. And I think that's what it's telling me. So we got the turtle formation. Uh, it's gonna lower the melee attack rate. The downside is uh, against peasants, turtling might not be as strong. We don't care about not running. Dude, we're gonna own the crap out of these guys. I don't know what the AI is worried about. All right, let's go here. He does have a lot of archers. So maybe that's why it's better to stay here. Yeah, you know what? He does have better archers. Or more archers. So let's do this. And then we're going to do flame shot here. You're going to go on five. Um, put you guys on one. And we'll come back to you here in a second. Then I want you guys on three. Uh, we're going to do loose formation. And then we're going to put you guys probably up front. Just so you can get the shot going. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And then all of these guys are all on two. It's a lot of two. What? Oh, we have no cav. How do we not have cav in this army? How do I have no cav in this army? <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, sure. Sure. There's no reason not to do spear wall. We got some really good cab, though, or um, really good troops. I don't think I'm going to turtle. Maybe we should turtle. Because he does have all those archers. All right. Now let's try this again now in our formations. Something like this. And then you guys are there. We got the swordsman right there. Maybe I should pull the swordsman back. Here's the thing. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I was thinking of potentially, but we're not going to be able to run, right, with some of these guys? Those guys cannot run. Yeah, okay, they can't run, but they can still uh, ch uh, uh, charge. So you just basically lose the charge bonus. I think that's fine. I think it's just fine. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. We're spending too much time here worried about something that really doesn't matter. We'll go up to speed. You guys should get absolutely destroyed. Uh, if they actually want to hit. There you go. Thank you. Our success looms large. Good. Go ahead and hit those guys. Although burning the forest down seems kind of nice too. 
Uh, we will fight both of those. We will totally fight both of those. I should actually pay attention to these guys, but... Alright, archers are shooting. Let's go move you guys out. That's a little too much. Something like this. Oh, they have fire arrows. Dang. Go knock that out. Go knock that out. Nice knock. Nice knock. Nice knock. We're winning that one. Not by much. Okay, uh, go hit these guys then. And then you guys need to start shooting some of these archers, please. And then you get up here. Let's unfortify you. And then we're going to come grab you here. And I want to get the flank going. We need to get you guys around here. You guys around here. And you guys charge back into here. Yeah, this is where Cab would be really, really helpful right about now. Shoot these guys, by the way. Uh, you guys get up here. Yeah, they're just wrecking us. Uh, go loose formation. I'm not really worried about charging, getting charged. Actually, you come over here. Uh, oh, we basically already broke everyone. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, we basically already broke everyone. Peasants, man. Peasants. Okay, anyone that's not fighting, go kill these guys. Get on your horse and go kill these guys. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. Dude, those peasants, they're so terrible. They're so terrible. Okay, these guys are all getting ready to break. You guys get up here. You guys get up there. Uh, Come over here. Man, how do we not have any cap in this army? So these guys are just all instantly breaking, it looks like. Now, the thing with uh, archers, as long as they're running, like, if they're skirmishing, they can't, uh, uh, they can't, uh, it doesn't count, like, the game will be over. Okay, so I want to turn off the shield wall on all these guys, by the way. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're chasing all the archers. So if they're chasing, like, if they're running from the skirmishing, then uh, we'll win the game. As soon as we end up winning this. So, hey, come over here. And then you guys just start shooting those guys. Alright, let's watch this. Because we don't really get to watch this too much. Hi, do you have any special abilities? You do. You do. What does the special ability do? Didn't even see. Range block chance. Ah, oh, it doesn't really help me, I guess. Ow. Don't get punched. Don't don't take that from him, man. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. We're actually not doing too high here. Come on. We're winning, but not as much as I was hoping. And we're taking probably way too much damage. I probably shouldn't have taken this just because these guys are taking too much individual damage right now. But that's fine. I actually think this guy's going to get the kill first. Yeah, I think this guy's going to get the kill first. Because he's just absolutely wrecking right now. The other guy is a little closer, but he should be fine. All right, that's fine. Hopefully they're chasing the archers down. Hey, let's just pause the game and let's make sure that everyone's actually fighting or chasing. Those guys are all running. Do they have anyone that's currently not running? No. Okay, we're perfectly acceptable then just watching these combats. All right, all right, all right. Go back to, that's not the right one. Go back to this one. I wanna watch these kills, man. Come on, do it, buddy. Nice block, nice block, buddy. Oh, that was a nice uppercut. Unfortunately, you didn't get the kill there. Dang it. The other one ended up happening. Our, our air did end up winning. Oh, he just snapped his neck, dude. <laughs> uh, nice. Nice. And so then that should be victory right there. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was fun. I love how he just grabbed him and snapped his neck. Decisive victory from something that said uh, decisive loss, I think is what it was. Or what was it? Close loss? Man, what the hell? What the hell? Uh, almost 400 kills on our catapults. 
like, I just don't see us ever losing as long as we have the catapult advantage. It just, it's kind of crazy. It really is. Archers are pretty good in this game, though, too. I don't know why we don't have Cav in this army, and that really um, offers some um, questions that we might want to resolve here. Let the wine flow. So, we are going to execute you because you don't want to join my army, and you don't want to join my army, so we're going to execute you. Uh, let's go ahead and get the replenishment. Yeah, let's get the replenishment. We lost 322. And we're going to keep chasing him down. Now, here's the interesting thing. Osworn, good. Osworn, good. Ambushes, okay. Brothers in Arms, good. War coordination, canceled, canceled. Relationship lost, we're at war with you. We gained, ooh, composite bow and a black stallion. Nice. And a master craftsman, too. Okay, those might be worth grabbing. Uh, relationship lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm thinking, like, you maybe give you the better mount? What does this one give you? Cunning? I think I am going to give you the better mount. Just because. Just because. And then what else do we have? We had a silver person here with expertise and authority. Right now, your guy's worthless. Might as well. It's better. It's better than what we had. So let's go chase this army down, and we're going to resolve this one. On the march. He's completely trapped. This should be a complete wipeout then. Uh, decisive victory. He should have no morale, basically, because we just won that battle. Yeah, and there you go. We just completely eradicated them. That's what I figured was going to happen. And replenish once again. So there goes his one army. So he's probably really regretting what he did. Um, let's go back here to diplomatic status. So he's just got the one territory there. I think a couple things. Number one, Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. we can get you right here. I don't know where this guy's going, but what I want to look at is I want to go diplomacy one more time. I want our Lube. Hi, I want you Welcome. to war coordinate and I want you to go kill this guy. Okay, then the other thing is Lu Bei, hi, I am going to annex you. Why? Why, I wonder. All right, since we can't annex you yet, Zhang Yang, can I annex you? No. So it's gonna take six turns. So what it looks like is it takes an X amount of time. So that was like negative 47. This one is only um, like negative 22. So apparently every turn then it must tick down until it gets to like zero. Uh, but apparently there's no way to like tell how long. So that's fine. I don't wanna like become super like pissed uh, or piss everyone off because of that. So it's okay. It's okay. It'll happen. It'll happen eventually. Uh, you actually have two levels? No, you have a level and you're unhappy. You have a level and you're unhappy. Is there anything I can do to get, make you happy? Uh, I can give you a follower. Nope. Uh, here you go. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing we got. Mounted fire while moving and fires backwards. Hmm, interesting. Give you a little bit of satisfaction at least. There you go. A little bit of satisfaction. You're at 10. <laughs> uh, none of these actually give you better satisfaction. I, what does this guy even do? He's just a court noble, but was I actually using him for anything? It's the only problem with some of these guys is it's like, I don't actually know if I was using you for anything or what. It looks like we were taking you down here. So you must have been doing... Um, you must have been doing some assignments, I guess. This guy's at 21. This guy's at 10. Maybe I want to pay him a little bit. I think I will pay you a little bit. There you go. Congratulations. I'm not going to pay mostly anyone, but just you. Uh, by the way... This wasn't the one we had multiple parts from. No, no. This is just straight episode. So, uh, how is this looking right now? Let's go back to normal. We do have the balance of power. We're still pretty hurt. 
So I am still going to go ahead and do encamp. And we are going to declare this war before too long. The thing is, he's not building up, so I'm not super concerned. Maybe one, maybe two more turns, and then we're just going to go ahead and march in. This is just the farmland, so it's really not going to be that big of a deal to conquer. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, income from all sources is probably not a bad idea right now. Yeah, income from all sources. Let's see. We also got satisfaction for sentinels, which then gives us... I know we have some of these buildings. I know we have some of those buildings. Which might not be the worst thing in the world. Building upkeep is so stupid, I think. Like, the building upkeep's like 10. Uh, I don't care about that building. Supplies I still don't care about. What does supplies unlock? We just don't build any of the military buildings, man. Yeah, we really don't. The extra satisfaction for classes is also kind of nice. I think I'm going to grab this. Then this also unlocks Saber Infantry. Weak against Cav. Eh, whatever. Or more income. I think we're good on income. I think we're good. Yeah, we're at 4K right now. <laughs> yeah, we're good on income. We're good on income for probably a while. Uh, Speaking of which, is everyone making happy? Everyone's actually happy now. Okay, good. 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 Do food is good. Food is good. I just don't necessarily want to upgrade my towns. You usually, you just don't want them to go past large town. Because then that's when they get more food issues. You're an extra building slot, so this one's worth it. Yeah, we'll build you. Give you an extra build slot. You got income and food production. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, well, let's roll the next turn, then we're going to wrap this episode up. So, should be good. I'm not super concerned now anymore about this guy. I will probably go take his province from him. He did declare war on us. And once again, I mean, I think our next option is to come this direction. And we're going to probably go for Xiao Xiao. I think, I think, I think we got it, right? The downside is he has like 6,000 freaking... <laughs> uh... Dude, that's kind of an interesting little mountain pass. That's a great area to ambush. Uh, but he probably has got like 10,000 vassals, so. Hong Xiao got vassalized. Wasn't, weren't we at war with him? No, we, yeah. He's the guy we just were at war with. Dong. Do. So literally the guy I was at war with because our ally pulled us in just vassalized this guy. Huh. Are we still at war? Uh, spy dispatch. Sweet. Please give me vision. Xiao Xiao only has one territory? What? No. No. Nah, he's got more than one territory. There, no, there's no way he only has one territory. Okay, here it looks like he has f a couple. He is poor, though, on food. He maybe just only has a bunch of allies. Huh. I mean, you can look at this. Like, look how many allies he's got right now. Uh, so, am I at war with this guy? Yeah, I'm still at war with you. No? I'm not at war with you anymore. That sucks. That actually legitly sucks. What do you want? Heaven will favor the righteous. Okay, well, we're just going to go back to war then. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Uh, I wish it would tell me. Like, so here's the only thing. I, I kind of went to declare that war just to see whether or not we could do it without losing uh, 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 trustworthiness. <laughs> so, you know, you know, you know, that sucks. Uh, buildings, cool. Diplomacy. Um, one more thing with diplomacy. Let's see if it went down to 21 turns. Hi, I want to integrate you. I want to annex you. Still 22. Hmm, maybe it's always that bad. Maybe it's always that bad. I'm gonna have to Google this. I'm gonna have to Google this. By the way... Yeah, this is still his territory. And then who is this? Hung Xiao. That's a full stack army, man. That is... That's gonna be a nasty fight. That is gonna be a nasty fight. However, up here, extremely weak. So, is this where we need to go? Probably. Where's our, um... Oh, yeah, our main dude's over there still. We could also send her down here. Here's the other question. Are you still at war? Lube. No. 
Would you join my war? We are immovable as stone. Okay. So with him in this war, that is amazing. Because what we could do is war coordinate. And I want you then to take this town. And that happened, right? Welcome. Yep. So I want you to take that town. So that's going to be your goal. I then, however, am going to grab you. And I, I don't really care because, like, you're a vassal. So that's fine. Uh, then I'm going to bring you down here. And we're going to basically get you in position to come kill this guy. And we're going to move you right here. You're still replenishing. And then we're going to put you on ambush. And if he moves out, then we're going to go jump on him. Um, and maybe we should have moved you in a slightly better spot so that the town wouldn't actually help out the garrison here, but uh, it's not that big. It's not that big. Um, you're really, really tiny. I don't know where this army came from, man. Like, literally, you just got, like, a brand new army. He must have gotten a bunch of money. That must have been what happened. He must have accepted the vassalization and got paid a bunch of money. I think that's what ended up happening. All right, so we're going to wrap this episode up. We got a little bit of money. I'll take care of that next episode. For now, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. We're going to we're gonna start moving this direction because there's not really much else for us to do over here except annex our guys. Um, Zhang Zhang, I might want just because I want the Great Wall. Got the Yellow River Canal. But, I mean, this is all our ally stuff, so I kind of just, like, I'm good with our ally. Like, I like Dongmin. I, I kind of want to maintain uh, happiness with Dongmin. Is there anything we can actually do, by the way, with Dongmin? His attitude's actually not great towards us. Yeah, he's, he's a little afraid of us, I think. How can we help each other? He doesn't want a military alliance. Greetings. What, what shall we talk about? Trade territory. War. What about this? I'm just gonna give you some food. That's a lot of food, by the way. That's that's money, Brian. That's money, Brian. That's money, Brian. Because we have a lot of food right now. We don't want to give you that much food. Ten food? I think I am gonna give you ten food. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, I'm just trying to make him like me so he doesn't leave our coalition. Now, I don't think he will. But, I mean, that's what happened last time. Then we had to go kill him, and it just became a problem. So, here, here. I'm going to give you just a little bit of food for now. Uh, I'll give you 10 just to make you like me. And then, guess what? I'm going to not trade you territory. Instead, I'm going to trade you some of these extra things we have, which are just, like, whatever. Who cares? I'll trade you one of that. I'll trade you one of that. And confirm... And then this is going to give you a plus 4.1. All right, forget the food then. Here you go. Love me, buddy. Goodwill stabilizes relations. Attitude's positive. Oh, seriously? That literally just switched his attitude to positive. Okay, then. Because he wasn't super happy with me before, and now he's positive. Unless we were looking at... Maybe I had him selected, and that's what happened. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. I didn't have our allies selected. I don't know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, oh, I did all that. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.